In today's five minute gardener, this time of year we all wish we had more shade around our homes because you can really lower the temperature in your home with strategically placed landscaping. Our five minute gardener Debbie Mounts from Harlow Gardens has some ideas. Okay, good afternoon. We're here at Harlow Gardens today and I wanted to show you one of the most beautiful things we have currently growing in the nursery. This is called a campsus vine or trumpet vine. This particular variety, which has this color of flower, is called a flava campsus. Anyway, this vine is growing up on a telephone pole and it's self-supporting. But the main reason I'm showing you this vine, well, there's two reasons, actually. One is how beautiful it is. You can see how wonderful it is. It attracts hummingbirds and butterflies. But also, it is going to do a wonderful job of shading those hot spots or hot walls in your home or garden. So on a west-facing wall, it'll survive. A south-facing wall, it'll survive and be beautiful. Now, this vine has another one in the same family, which is also a campsus, little different variety, and it is called a Madame Galen campsus vine, and that one is kind of a red-orange color, does the same kind of stuff, does really beautifully, but it is a slightly different color. It's really lush and rich in color. Both of them are, actually, as you can see. There's also other vines that work beautifully to shade and or cool your house. I, at my house, I have on the west side of my house, I have a cat's claw vine. We have one here in the nursery also that is thick and lush and provides total shade in an area near one of our buildings. It is just amazing. It gives you thick, dense shade, doesn't take a lot of water. It's really terrific. The other thing I want to tell you guys about is when you mount your trellises on the wall in your garden, you want to have about six inches of space behind the trellis, between the trellis and the wall. That space is going to allow air circulation back behind the vine. So when you mount the vine, the only, you don't get a lot of the die back and the vine looks better and it grows better and it's easier to maintain. All right, think about those vines when you're trying to make your garden look better and to cool your house. That's a great idea. And before we talk about these other vines, that cat's claw, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, that took, what, 20 years to get like that? Well, I've been at Harlow's 15 years. That thing is at least, I would guess, 40 feet long that shaded thing because it comes down that and then it comes up over the building and around the other side. So it's a good 40 feet long. And I, in those 15 years, they that. have cut that down to a nub, and I mean a nub, just a little stem, twice and twice, because we've had to do construction and painting and such, and twice it has come back. And what they did there is when they initially cut the back, the last time they cut the vine back, they put shade cloth along the top of those posts. Mm -hmm. So the vine, we tied it to the post at the end, and it came up over the top, and then just traveled to the other end on its own. But what it has done is it's so tenacious, it has actually grown through the shade cloth. <laughs> yeah, you can see that. And it's created its own little roof <laughs> by growing through the shade cloth. <laughs> so when it rains, if it's just lightly raining, we'll just get a few drops through there. It actually almost acts like a true roof. It's pretty astounding. And it casts really dense shade. So you can imagine how wonderful it would be on the west or the south side of a house, providing real cooling and insulating properties. Now the one thing I'll say about cat's claw is I would not recommend it for um, stucco, stucco mm -hmm. or any kind of a surface. You know, you could do it on brick or anything yeah. because it is tenacious. It has those little claws that yeah, it's really... It's not called claw for nothing. No, exactly. And it will actually pull down some of your stucco. If you get to a point, say, oh, I'll take this down. Well, you'll be maybe not so pleasantly surprised <laughs> when you try to take it down. Yeah. But for cooling, I mean, there's just nothing like that guy. It's it's amazing. And that doesn't lose its leaves in the winter. It's evergreen. Now, the other one that we were showing, the campsus, that is a deciduous vine, meaning that it loses its leaves mm -hmm. in the winter. Now, what's wonderful about it, I like the look of it, because as I say, it's on a telephone pole, as I said, and so it's this gnarly, um, 
like twig. Yeah, it just twists and turns yeah. all the way up the telephone. It's really beautiful. Yeah. It's like wisteria in that in that case, but it's not going to shade the house. Yeah. So, and in the wintertime, you may not want you, that. You don't want the shade. So right, it, it's, exactly. In a way, it's kind of a good thing. Exactly. All right, Debbie, thank you very much. You're welcome.